last movie I'd like to talk about is Beowulf. Now, I don't know if you guys saw the trailer for this movie, but Beowulf the trailer, when I first watched it, I was kind of just half watching it, you know, doing whatever I was doing. And it didn't really register to me that the entire movie is computer generated. Now, last the last actual movie that I think did this, that tried to make the humans really look almost realistic, you know, as much as human. I, I think it was like uh, probably Final Fantasy The Spirits Within. Now, that didn't come out, that came out like a long time ago, like five, six years ago. And this one, I think it's the first one since that, you know, is mainstream that's actually tried to recreate that. Now, uh, recently I started up my classes again, and I'm in uh, computer graphics, a class, you know, about computer graphics, basically. And pretty much all this is, like, coming, but the last, like, seven, eight years of computer graphics, most of the huge new advents have all been due to movies and video games. Now, like, before that, it was mostly, like, the military trying to use, you know, computer graphics and stuff, but... Now, like, video games is all now on the cutting edge of, you know, computer graphic technology. And, you know, arguably as well, you know, movies as well. But I think, uh, you know, video games trying to push it more. Anyway, so Beowulf. Uh, this is a movie based on the uh, old, you know, tale that was supposedly, like, um, poetry that was orally told down through the generations. And I think it was first recorded sometime early, early, somewhere in Europe. I'm not even going to quote a century, because I'm probably going to be wrong. But uh, it's basically about the story of Beowulf and Grendel, so if you're familiar with that. Now, I'd watched this movie with someone who um, read one of the uh, transcripted stories, and she felt like there were a lot of problems with the story. I, myself, had no problems with the story, because uh, basically how Beowulf is presented is like, the main story and, you know, this guy, he slays huge beasts, he has this reputation and, you know, he saves he saves nations and stuff by killing these huge beasts and all that. But what ends up happening is he falls into some trap, makes a deal with the devil, blah, 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 and all that fun stuff. Now, the thing is, I think that... Potentially, the actual story could have happened that way and not quite the way that it's actually told in the story because in, in the movie, it actually shows you that, oh, these are the stories that will be passed down, blah, 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 but you actually find out in the movie from the perspective of Beowulf that it's not exactly how it happened. Now, it's really interesting because, uh, you know, this kind of makes you think, you know, social, oral, you know, traditions telling, oh, I just made no sense just now. There's no coherence to that last couple of sentences. But anyway, Beowulf, I thought it was a very good movie, very action-packed, lots of fighting. Uh, I kind of don't really like that initial scene where, it's not really the initial scene, but the the first scene where you actually see Beowulf fight, and he's fighting in the nude, and I'm just like, uh... Anyway, no need to see, but I guess they kind of threw a lot of random shadows in there, and it's like, oh, you couldn't really see anything, but... I don't know, it just didn't really feel right. Anyway, uh, beyond that, I watched this movie at the IMAX theater. Now, there, it, I'm actually really fortunate because there's actually a theater right down the street from me, and it's actually an IMAX theater. Or, I mean, not the whole thing, but they have an IMAX theater there. And this sp specific movie, since it was all done in CGI, uh, I would imagine that it was really easy to transpose to 3D because uh, when you put on the 3D glasses, oh, man... Does everything look amazing, or what? Now, I don't even know what to comment on this, because they had a lot of strange panning shots, where I'm just like, wow, this shot wouldn't really work in a movie. But in the IMAX, I'm probably assuming it's the same scenes, but um, I think that they did very little uh, changes for the IMAX version. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but I'll get back on that at some point. But... The graphics were all so amazing, like, everything was popping on the screen, a uh, huge battle, you just kind of felt like you were there, and I I'm not sure if you guys have seen movies at the IMAX before, but the huge thing about the IMAX, uh, obviously there's going to be comfy seats, because, you know, you're paying a little bit extra for your ticket, but the huge thing is their sound system. Now, you know, in your typical theater, you might have, like, you know, two, three, or five speakers. I think there's, like, seven in the IMAX theater, and it's ridiculously amazing, just... 
absorbs you into the action. It's just so good. But anyway, uh, Beowulf, definitely recommend the movie if you like crazy action movies or you just have a really good appreciation for, um, you know, epic action movies. Now, I want to say it's kind of in the vein of, like, uh, 300, except I definitely thought, thought that 300 was better. Uh, but I won't lie, I really like the story. I thought it was pretty good, and that's pretty much that. Uh, the thing about the ending of the movie is, I won't lie, I have some misgivings on how, you know, the the very last scene. It kind of leaves things a little bit open, but it doesn't answer everything. So it keeps you wondering about these, you know, two or three characters. I won't tell you who, but... Uh, but, oh, the CGI was so amazing. So that's really all I have to say. Uh, Beowulf, good movie, thumbs up. Give you that. Anyway, uh, oh, if you do get a chance to see Beowulf, you definitely need to watch this in the theater. This is one of those crazy action movies that you just have to watch in theater. And especially IMAX. If you can get your hands on an IMAX ticket, do it. Because you'll totally like it. It's, t I think, worth the entire experience. So, anyway, uh, that's pretty much that. And you guys have fun. And I'll see you next time. Hopefully I get one done again next week. If I can fit in my schedule, have crack tons of homework. All right, see ya.